For two long years, we've lived with COVID restrictions. Today, a new dawn. The government calling time on the rules that have shaped all our lives. Is it too soon to relax restrictions? A very live question and the Cabinet with its answer today. All restrictions will be gone by Thursday. Is the government being too hasty? His Cabinet now agreed the PM to Parliament. Together with the treatments and scientific understanding of the virus that we've built up, we now have sufficient levels of immunity to complete the transition from protecting people with government interventions to relying on vaccines and treatments as our first line of defence. Self-isolation rules acts, the end of free universal testing and a fourth jab for the vulnerable, all bold moves. And the opposition not convinced. The Prime Minister promised to present a plan for living with COVID. But all we've got today is yet more chaos and disarray. Free tests can't continue forever. But if you're two one up with 10 minutes to go, you don't sub off one of your best defenders. But for those on his own side, announcing the end to restrictions is the best political defence for this embattled PM. I'll take the Prime Minister's statement, if I may, as his application to join the COVID recovery group. He's very welcome indeed. I only wish it had been uh, sooner. I strongly welcome and endorse uh, my right honourable friend's statement today, restoring our freedoms. A return to freedom, perhaps, but it's not without cost. The scientists clear the virus is still with us. As we look at the next weeks, we still have high rates of Omicron. Uh, and I would urge people in terms of public health advice that people should still, if they have COVID, uh, try to prevent other people getting it, and that means self-isolating. Very clear, this pandemic is not over. There's... Um... An American colleague put it at the weekend. He said, you can celebrate when the sun's shining, but take your umbrella with you. It seems to me that you're clear, you're making it clear that this pandemic is far from over. What are you feeling? Are you more anxious than confident as these restrictions are dropped? On the anxiety point, I, I don't want you to think that there's some, you know... Uh, division between uh, the, the, the gung-ho politicians and the, and, the, and the cautious, anxious scientists. This has not gone away. There could be, likely will be, another variant uh, that will cause us trouble. But I believe that thanks to a lot of the stuff that we've done, we'll be in a far better position to tackle uh, that new variant when it comes. The one thing that this virus has taught you is not to be cocky. Yeah. So I think we just need to go very carefully, we need to monitor carefully and be prepared to react. Those COVID news conferences have punctuated, if not dominated, all of our lives for the past couple of years. So it was a very significant moment today when the Prime Minister, flanked by his advisers, finally pressed pause. But their confidence and hope that this phase of COVID is now coming to an end was tempered too with a heavy dose of caution around potential new variants and tricky winters. Restrictions over for now, but perhaps not forever. Tonight, turning the page then on a pandemic that's defined this Prime Minister's premiership and could still decide his legacy too. Beth Rigby, Sky News, Westminster.